think everyone's got Harry Styles fever. Right, I'm all set up to film video number two. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my vlog channel. So I don't know why the lighting looks super weird and blue today. We're just going to ignore that. My lip is still bruised as you can see. It's still really swollen as well. However, I've just had a massive, massive delivery from ASOS. You should have seen how many bags they were. I should have recorded this, but I've just unpackaged it all now. Basically, I'm working with ASOS on a video coming soon. I don't know if it's going to be on my IGTV yet or on my YouTube channel. I'm hoping it's going to be on my YouTube channel. So ASOS have sent me all these clothes down here. As you can see, there's a bunch of colors, a bunch of things that I personally wouldn't ever wear and they've challenged me to try and style this in a way that would make it wearable for me. In that black little blazer bag there is a blazer that is literally so out there that it's not me at all. This colours, these things, this is a furry, furry belt moment. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this work but we're going to test my styling abilities and we're going to see if I can actually do this. So that's all part of a video and then they very kindly sent me some stuff that I would actually wear. So I'm going to go through this. I don't have to film a little haul for my IGTV actually of like a winter outfit because these literally a full outfit here. Some shoes, scarf, trousers, jumper and a coat. Also some accessories. So that's really really sweet but that's what I've been doing with my morning. I slept with my hair pushed back last night and I woke up and it's like like bounce it but um we're just gonna ignore that i need to diet today at some point i really need to film this video today like i literally only have today tomorrow then i go home so i need to realistically get this video done and my lips look like this so i don't really know how i'm gonna get around that i was thinking if i put a bit of concealer on my lip and like blend it in it'll make the bruise light up don't know what I'm gonna do. Also, everyone went to see Harry Styles last night and I'm really jealous because I woke up this morning to a timeline full of Harry Styles. I'm literally just looking at some of this stuff on the floor now and thinking, oh my God, I would never wear this. Like, it's not necessarily ugly. I could see people pulling this off. Like, I'm pretty sure one of my friends wore this exact thing on Instagram the other day. I have a monochrome wardrobe. I'm gonna show you inside my wardrobe in a second. It's monochrome. Even what I'm wearing now. In fact, my entire room is monochrome. I don't even need to show you inside my bedroom. But yeah, I'm gonna figure that shit out. I'm gonna figure out when I need to film this. I'm gonna ask Haz if there's anything I can do with my lip to make it less like this. I don't mind the swelling of it. We'll just get over that. But like the actual fact that it's bruised. We need to try and cover at some point. I just tried some of the trousers on that I ordered from ASOS and I absolutely love them. I've been looking for some flowy trousers like this that also sit like at the bottom of my foot so they go over my trainers slightly. Obviously probably wouldn't wear them. Mm, I kind of would wear them with this outfit I guess but the fit of them is so so nice. Like the fit is literally perfect. I'm obviously not meant to be wearing these with this outfit. I literally just pulled them out because I was like I need to put some trousers on because it's cold in our house. So I pulled these out but they're really really nice so I thought I'd show you. I am going to do an IGTV of all the stuff that I got from ASOS and then this is going to be a YouTube video I think I've decided just because I think that'd be more fun trying to style these outfits into my wardrobe. I don't know why but lately I've literally been having no appetite. Like I literally wake up in the morning and I don't want to eat. All I want to do is have a cup of tea um, which is obviously not great for me. I'm going to eat but first, I, oh, sure. first I'm going to make a cup of tea and then I'm going to decide what I want to eat. But yeah I've been having no real appetite in the morning lately. So times. Sad times. Gonna make you feel Hard times. Right, I'm all dressed and ready now. I literally probably look no different. However, for me, I feel like I look more awake. Um, I use the concealer thing under my eyes, and honestly, I think it's really, really good. Like, every other concealer I've ever used, even Tarte Shape Tape, literally just doesn't, like, sit into my skin. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's a different formula, the men's version of, like, men's skin is obviously different to women's, so I don't know if the formula is actually men's makeup. Like, I were really sure that it would probably just the same exact formula as a woman's concealer, just packaged as men's to, like, obviously appeal to men more. However, I genuinely think the formula is different because it sits on my skin a lot nicer. Anyway, I'm all ready to film now. I've just set up my little little filming background. I've got my clothes here. I just need to put my camera on my tripod. Then I'm going to film an IGTV. Today is just going to be one big filming day. So I'm filming this and then I'm filming this and then I've got to film a hair video and then we're all sorted. I don't know if you can hear this, but my room's bang next to the bathroom. As is playing Harry Styles. I think everyone's got Harry Styles fever, but I am gonna have to tell her to turn it down because I am gonna be filming and you can hear it in my bedroom, so. <laughs> I finished up filming video number one. I've got three more to go. I've got three YouTube videos to film and an IGTV. So the IGTV is done, but I forgot to include this in the IGTV. I also picked up some really cool earrings from ASOS. I don't know if they're going to suit me just because they are a lot bigger than I thought they were. So these ones are little flames. And then also in this packet, I'm showing you these now because I literally forgot to include them. Look how fun these are. Obviously you choose which one you want on. You don't have them all on at the same time. 
So yeah, I feel like that's just way too big for my head. Go bitch, go bitch, go bestie. I can't fuck with his hoes because they nasty. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's just way too big for my head. I might put this little flame on a necklace actually. Right, I'm also up to film video number two or YouTube video number one actually. The other one were on IGTV. As you can see right here, um, I don't know how this is going to go at all. I've just unpackaged everything which is all down there. But I don't know how this is going to go at all. I really, really don't. So stay tuned for that main channel video. There's a sneak peek. I've got to get on with filming it because it's already getting late outside. And I need to go to the post office today. I need to nip into Westfields. I need to dye my hair I need to edit so many videos and the day is just gone. I need to also eat dinner I don't know what time it is right now. It is Oh my god, it's 22 minutes past two I've just been outside taking some photos of some of the clothes I were wearing just so I can post an Instagram pic for ASOS None of that what I just filmed for ASOS or none of this what I'm filming for ASOS is like paid The gifting stuff for the IGTV, they just ask if they want to give me some stuff They don't tell you to mention it They just hope that you're gonna wear it and then this stuff is for a video that they challenged me to do but I'm not being paid for it, so it's like all my honest opinions and stuff. And it would be my honest opinions, even if I were getting paid for it. That's what I'm doing right now. The day's literally just gone. I feel like I went outside to take photos when it was light, and I've come back in, and well, you can see by the colour of the sky, it's going dark, and there's still so much I need to do. But we're gonna do it, we're gonna make sure I do it. That sounded really inspirational from me being like, I'm not giving up. And I've literally just gotta film a couple videos, but like, I'm not giving up. The videos are all filmed. I feel like I've been in so many different outfits today. However, I'm now all done, like my filming's all done. I've got a bunch of editing to do. I need to tidy my room. I've just started doing it and then we're like, oh my god, shit, I've not updated my blog. I packaged everything back that I'm not actually going to keep or wear from that video. Like, I've kept obviously all the stuff that I chose myself, but all the stuff that I don't think I'll actually wear from the like trying clothes I never choose video, I packaged back up because it's like doing an online return. I didn't take the tags off or anything like that. I literally use them in the video so ASOS can just have them back and then they can sell them on the website. It saves them just staying in my wardrobe and just collecting dust. So I've done all that. That is all packaged up down there. It does mean like this side of my room is literally so much closer now. And I'm going to have to leave it until after Christmas because. Obviously, ASOS offices and stuff are now on Christmas break. My management's office is now on Christmas break. So I'm just gonna have to leave that all like that. Daily vlogging is making me realize just how bad my hair is and also how boring my life is. I'm now just sat at my desk because I've got to edit, surprise, all the footage that I just filmed. Well, not all of it, but I need to edit a vlog. And also, I've got some brand stuff that I need to sort out. Uh, I don't have time to make myself some food. So what I'm gonna do is order McDonald's. It's literally half past four. I do not know where today's gone. I feel like whenever I'm the busiest, the day just goes like that. I've also just been on the phone to my mum and dad. I'm really just excited to go home at this point. But I need to get my work done before I can go home. Oh, and I need the SD card out of there. It's just popped up saying missing files. So, need to bob this in there. <laughs> this makes me feel ill, house that you've done this. As a kid, my cousin would always rip his advent calendar open on like the 2nd of December and his mum just wouldn't care and she'd just be allowed to eat it and then she'd just buy him a new one. I ate mine already. If I did that at home, in front of my mom, she would absolutely murder I've me. I only and took I... these out, look. And at that, everyone else has ate them. Who's everyone else? Flossie. Oh. Just Flossie. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I've not touched it. My mom would actually murder me, but also I don't think I could physically bring myself to do that. It was fun. Just because Christmas. No, it was fun. I feel like the Grinch this year. I feel oh. like for no very Christmas either. I did it with my body shop calendar, but I feel like that's different. I like I opened my body shop calendar. Right, so me and Has got sent the body shop calendars at the same time, and I put mine on top of my wardrobe. Didn't open it, obviously, because we got sent them like mid-November. I didn't open mine, because I was planning, obviously, to open it every single day in December like you meant to. And I come into Haz's room and I'm like, where's your uh, body shop calendar? She's like, what? I'm like, where's your body shop calendar? She was like, what do you mean? I said, the like dollhouse thing. She's like, oh, well that a calendar because I just opened it all. <laughs> So she didn't even realise you were an advent calendar. I thought it was a fucking PR package. <laughs> she, this dumb it. bitch just rips it all open and opens it all anyway. But then I guess I did the same. Right, so I'm currently getting dressed for... I don't know how many times today I've been dressed in different outfits. I just threw on some blue jeans. Oh, oh, oh! I mean, how's it going to go to the cinema? I don't know what we're actually going to watch. I can't remember what we decided on. We were deciding between Knives Out, which is like Cluedo, and Jumanji. The only issue I have with Jumanji is I love the Robin Williams one. Like, it used to be my favourite film. Oh my god, Robin Williams in Flubber and in Jumanji, my favourite things in the entire world. I always mention to people Flubber and no one knows what I'm on about. So if you watched Flubber as a kid or if you're even old enough to know what Flubber is, this is really showing my age. If you know what Flubber is, then please let me know. It used to be literally my favourite film in the entire world. So I feel like because I used to love them films so much, the new Jumanji, it's a completely different storyline. It's a completely different narrative. And I'm just like, I can't get past it. It's a good film, like great film. The actors in it are incredible. However, I 
just can't get over the fact that it's not Robin Williams. And like, obviously I understand that he sadly passed away, so it obviously can't be him. But I'm, I can't, I feel like I'm betraying. I feel like I'm doing something wrong by enjoying it. But I think that's what we're gonna say. So I'm gonna have to learn to enjoy it because I'm gonna sit and watch it for like two hours. This is the a scarf that I got today from ASOS. How fun. But this would be a really nice outfit if it were more put together. I don't know what coat to put on. Very winter vibes. <laughs> this is my final outfit for today. I'm not changing anymore. I've got this scarf on, like I said, from ASOS. I got this leather jacket from All Saints, which I'm so glad I bought. Every single time I've been to Bista Village, and I've been like unsure on whether or not I want to buy something. The first time I went, I were unsure on the Prada bag. Wore that every single day. Second time I went, unsure on this jacket. I've literally wore it every single day. But yeah, this jacket is from All Saints, and then I have this knitted jumper from ASOS. My new little Prada bag, and then just some Urban Outfit as mom jeans. And then these boots are actually from ASOS as well. They're really, really cool. Just some chunky, like big boots with a little buckle detail on. So yeah, this is my outfit to go to the cinema in nice and cozy. It's not like fashionable or anything, but it's nice and cozy. And this scarf is the warmest thing ever. So it's gonna be nice and wrapped up, ready to go to the cinema. <laughs> Decided on watching, what film is that? Knives Out. Yeah, it's basically like Cluedo. It's like a little Cluedo moment. Freya's been begging us to go watch it with her for she such a long time. She never mentioned it to me, so I'm really every, every single night she's like, I want to go and watch it. No, I thought and it was Frozen that, that she wanted to go to. She wants to see Frozen again with you, but she just want to see it. So we had to ring Freya and ask permission for us to go and see it. Uh, and she said yeah, so we're going to go and see it. I'd rather watch that over Jumanji. After doing the big spiel of how I don't like Jumanji, because it's not Robin Williams. We're not going to see it anyway, so that would be a waste of my time. I'm yours watching. But, but yeah, we're going to go and watch it. I was saying I don't like the new Jumanji because it's not Robin Williams. I know, I don't either. I like Kevin, oh not Kevin Jonas. Kevin Nick Hart. Jonas. Yeah, Kevin Hart's in it as well. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go to the cinema now. I'm going to put my camera away because it'll look like I'm trying to record the film, which is not it. It is called Out Tonight. Right, me and Haz just got back in. It's now 22.11. The film are really, really good. So I watched the trailer a while ago with Freya and I kept saying I didn't want to go see it. It has like the girl who plays uh, Hannah from 13 Reasons Why. It has the boy from It in it. It has James Bond. I should know all these people's names. It has literally a bunch of different actors in. The guy from, what's the thing? Get Out. It has a bunch of different people in and a bunch of different actors that I really, really like. However, I can't name their actual names, which is great. And I didn't think it looked that great. I thought it looked too like it was trying to be old thriller slash horror film where they try and make it look old by doing all the effects really shitty and stuff and at first it did give me that vibe but then when you get into the plot of the story and you actually start watching the film also can I just say I think Daniel Craig is an amazing actor he's probably the best James Bond today however his American accent in this, the beginning of this film I don't know if it got better as it went on or if I just got used to it but his American accent in the beginning of the film were driving me insane but once I let go of that and once I stopped thinking about how cheesy like the actual setup of it was because obviously that were intentional the film were really good and also I'm normally quick to figure out the plots of films but there were a lot of twists in that film and also it were funny I really struggle to find films funny however I did laugh a couple times at that um, so I definitely do recommend it go watch Nights Out Knives Out? Knives Out not Nights Out it's really really good I'm going to try and get my mum to watch it when I go back home and also I think Ella would love it as well maybe I'll go watch it again who knows and I also do now know all the like twists and turns so I don't think I'd watch it and appreciate it as much as I did because I were like a lot of it I was shocked by normally I'm really quick at figuring a plot of a film out but I were really like I thought I figured it out and I just hadn't but it were really really good I'm glad we went and saw it I don't know if this annoys anyone else or if it's just me my railing now has two things on that aren't monochrome like everything else if I took everything else off here I mean if I took these two items off here everything else would be monochrome and it's really annoying me that this now ruins it and there's nothing I can do about it like even my shoes apart from the pink ones are monochrome it's just throwing me off a little you know my OCD is kicking in. Right, Haz has made me a cup of tea. Oh, in my little mug that says B. Haz, it's a good tea. Thanks. <laughs> I'm honestly so fussy at tea. I don't think anyone, apart from my dad, and my mum sometimes actually, has ever written, has ever written me, has ever made me a good tea. <laughs> Right, I think I'm getting somewhere. My suitcase is fully packed. I've got all my trousers in there, all my jumpers. I have an outfit that I'm gonna travel home in. All the stuff is up there nice and neat. I've tidied this little section of my room. I decided actually to put all, so this has got fake tans in it. Well, from Saint Tropez, which I'm gonna use when I get back. But in here, I've put, like I didn't know what to do with this box. And I've put all my like things that I wanna try out and like products that I've got and just stuff that I've like half used, half not used. So I put it in there so it's nice and neatly tucked away. But 
also like super accessible. But yeah, my room is nice and tidy now. I've been through all my clothes and figured out what I need to take home. I've got a bunch of stuff that's drying in the kitchen right now that I washed today. So I'm not going to do that yet. I then got my toiletries bags that I need to fill. This one's already full, but I'm going to use that before I go home. I just need to put like all my shower gels and stuff in there once I finish with them. But yeah, I think I'm pretty much sorted. All right, everyone. It is now quarter to two in the morning. I've not even finished doing all my work, but I'm going to get in bed just because I'm so damn tired. I don't know why I'm this tired tonight. I normally stay up a lot later than this. In fact, to be fair, recently I've been going to bed pretty early. I've not been falling asleep early, but I've been getting in bed and unwinding a lot earlier than this. I'm so tired and I've got to get up tomorrow super early because I've got a long list of things I need to do. I love you all lots and I will chat to you in the morning for a really, really busy day. I've also got to film more videos tomorrow. <sighs> Let's go. I'm, I'm ready. I'm prepared. I just need to sleep. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.